Imagine swimming deep into the ocean where sunlight barely reaches. And out of the shadows appears a fish that looks like it's wearing a pair of high-powered binoculars for eyes. That, my friends, is not a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's real. It's the telescope fish, one of the strangest, rarest, and most mind-blowing creatures of the deep. Today, we're diving for a full hour into this bizarre little fish, exploring how it lives, how it hunts, and why its eyes are some of the most advanced pieces of biological engineering in the ocean. Stick around, because the deeper we go, the weirder it gets. So let's start with the obvious question. Do telescope fish really exist? Yes, they're not a myth, not a Photoshop trick, not some fisherman's tall tale. Telescope fish are real, scientifically recognized, and their official family name is Giganturidae. Sounds like something out of a Jurassic Park sequel, right? Within this family, there are two known species, both placed in the genus Gigantura. Now, before you picture a giant sea monster, let me clear this up. These fish are actually small. They're only about 20 centimeters long at most, which is around the length of a ruler. Not very giant, but their name fits their lineage, not their size. Telescope fish live in what's known as the mesopelagic zone, often called the twilight zone of the ocean. This is the part of the sea between about 500 and 2,000 meters deep. At this depth, sunlight is so faint that you can't really call it daylight. It's dim, eerie, and the perfect stage for creatures with wild adaptations. And the telescope fish? It's like the poster child of adaptation. Its tubular eyes are pointed forward like a pair of scopes, giving it both binocular vision and the ability to spot even the faintest flicker of movement in the darkness. Think about that. If you lived in a place where sunlight couldn't guide you, you'd need a superpower to survive. For telescope fish, their superpower is vision. But wait, how do tubular eyes even work? Most fish have eyes on the sides of their head, which is great for seeing predators coming from almost any direction. The downside is, they don't get good depth perception. Telescope fish have sacrificed that wide-angle view for an ultra-precise, forward-facing gaze. Their eyes are essentially like telescopes, long, narrow tubes with a lens at the end. This design increases the focal length, which means they can detect faint light much more effectively than the average fish. In other words, they've evolved natural night vision goggles. On top of that, their eyes can swivel around, scanning for prey like little periscopes. Creepy, but genius. Now let's talk about their prey. Because a fish with eyes this powerful isn't just sitting around admiring the view. Telescope fish feed on other small deep sea creatures. What's fascinating is how their bodies are built for swallowing things much larger than themselves. They have extendable jaws and elastic stomachs, allowing them to gulp down prey that looks way too big for their frame. Imagine a fish barely bigger than your hand swallowing another fish almost the same size. One of the reasons telescope fish are so rarely seen is that they live so deep. They inhabit cold, dark waters that are tough for humans to reach. Even with advanced submersibles and deep-sea exploration technology, sightings of telescope fish are extremely rare. Most of what we know about them comes from specimens accidentally caught in nets or retrieved during deep-sea research missions. And that's part of their mystery. Every glimpse we get of this animal feels like opening a window into an alien world. Let's pause for a second and imagine the lifestyle of a telescope fish. Down at 1,000 meters below the surface, the temperature hovers just above freezing. There's no sunlight to warm the water, and the pressure is crushing. Literally hundreds of times the pressure at sea level. Yet this small fish not only survives, but thrives. It's perfectly adapted to the twilight zone. Its translucent body reduces visibility, making it harder for predators to spot. Its eyes work like spotlights without ever giving away its position. And its expandable stomach ensures that no meal goes to waste in a place where food is scarce. Efficiency at its best. Here's another cool thing. Telescope fish aren't limited to one ocean. They're circumglobal, meaning they're found in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world. Whether it's the Atlantic, Pacific, or Indian Ocean, these creatures are quietly lurking in the depths. They're cosmopolitans of the deep sea, though you'd never run into one at your local beach. Now, if you're wondering about predators, yes, telescope fish, like many deep sea animals, have to be careful. Larger predators lurk even deeper, and some mid-sized hunters patrol the same twilight zone. 
but telescope fish have the advantage of stealth and speed. Their streamlined bodies allow quick bursts of movement when it's time to lunge for prey or dart away from danger. Add those hyper-advanced eyes to the mix, and they're pretty well equipped to survive in a tough environment. This brings us to one of the biggest questions about telescope fish. Why haven't more people heard of them? The answer is simple. Deep sea exploration is hard and expensive. We've mapped Mars better than we've mapped our own ocean floor. Think about that. We send rovers to another planet, but most of Earth's oceans remain unexplored. Animals like telescope fish remind us that our own planet is still full of undiscovered wonders. They live right here, sharing our world, but in a realm we've barely begun to understand. And if you're wondering why scientists care so much about these little fish, here's the kicker. Studying animals like the telescope fish teaches us about adaptation, survival, and evolution under extreme conditions. Their eyes, for example, give us insights into how vision evolves in environments with almost no light. Their feeding habits show us how life finds ways to make the most of scarce resources. And their global distribution hints at deep sea connectivity between oceans. Each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of how life thrives in one of the most hostile habitats on Earth. Let's also clear up a common misconception. Because telescope fish are rare and look so unusual, some people confuse them with fictional sea monsters or think they're exaggerated by scientists. But telescope fish are not myths. They're cataloged, classified, and studied. If anything, reality makes them even more fascinating than fiction. After all, how many animals can you name with built-in telescopes for eyes? Now let's zoom in a little more on those eyes, because honestly, they're worth an entire segment on their own. The tubular design isn't just for gathering light. It also sharpens directional vision. Imagine trying to spot a glow-in-the-dark bug from across a football field in total darkness. That's the kind of advantage these eyes give telescope fish. And to make things even more efficient, some tubular-eyed fish in the deep sea have reflective layers that bounce light around inside the eye, increasing sensitivity. Telescope fish use this setup to detect bioluminescence, those faint flashes of light produced by other deep sea creatures. To them, a tiny glow could mean dinner or danger. Now think about the strategy of their hunting. They float silently in the water column, scanning for the slightest flicker. Once they lock in, they dart forward with lightning speed, open those extendable jaws and swallow the prey whole. It's like an ambush with built-in night vision. For decades, scientists struggled to even find telescope fish specimens, let alone study them alive. Most telescope fish we know about come from preserved samples. That means our understanding is still limited, and every new expedition has the potential to rewrite what we know. This is part of what makes deep sea biology so exciting. The unknowns are endless. But let's not forget the humor in all this. If telescope fish were humans, they'd be that weird neighbor who's always peering through binoculars watching everything you do. Except in this case, it's not creepy, it's survival. Still, imagine a fish that spends its life with built-in zoom lenses attached to its head. If that doesn't make you laugh, I don't know what will. And speaking of survival, here's another fascinating adaptation. Telescope fish don't waste energy. In the deep sea, food is rare, so conserving energy is critical. They drift, they wait, and when the time is right, they strike. It's a lifestyle of patience and precision, now let's zoom out a bit and think big picture. Telescope fish are just one of countless species adapted to life in the deep. They're part of a hidden ecosystem that supports a staggering amount of biodiversity, and every creature down there has its own trick. As we wrap up this deep dive, let's circle back to our original question. Do telescope fish really exist? Absolutely yes. They're small, they're rare, and they're hidden in the twilight zone of our oceans, but they are very real and the fact that they look like alien binoculars on fins just makes them that much cooler. The telescope fish is living proof that Earth still holds secrets stranger than fiction. While we chase after mysteries in space, we've got some living right here beneath the waves. And the next time someone asks you about the weirdest fish you've ever heard of, you'll have a new answer. The telescope fish, the deep sea sniper with eyes like telescopes lurking quietly in the dark, proving once again that nature has the wildest imagination of all. And that's our journey into the world of the telescope fish. 
from its bizarre eyes to its sneaky hunting style. It's a reminder that no matter how much we think we know, the ocean still has plenty of surprises waiting. So if you've enjoyed this deep dive, stick around, because the sea is full of stories just as strange, just as fascinating, and just as real.